Would you make welcome from Maiden, North Carolina, the award-winning Singing Americans. Thank you. 
thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm telling you, I'm like that. I see right now, we're going to have a good time today. I'm Amen. telling you. It's good to see all of you, and we hope you'll enjoy the Singing Americans this afternoon. Real quickly, let me tell you who these fellas are. Uh, the young man at the piano is a young man that uh, kind of showed out just a minute ago. He does a great job, and I know you'll enjoy him. He's from Smithville, North Carolina. His name is Phil Huffman. Would you welcome Phil today? The young man picking the bass guitar is a young man that uh, we enjoy as well having in our group. He comes to us from the mountains of East Tennessee, Rogersville, Tennessee. Would you make welcome Mark Fain? Mark? The young man singing the bass has one of the prettiest voices you'll ever hear. We're proud he's our bass singer. I know you'll enjoy him today. Mr. Dwayne Burke, would you welcome Dwayne today? The young man singing the lead everywhere we go, folks, enjoy his lead singing. Also, everywhere we go, folks, make comments to who he looks like. Yeah, a lot of you think he looks like Superman, yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know if that's true or not. All I know is we had to install a phone booth on our bus for him to change clothes in. <laughs> You'll enjoy him from Memphis, Tennessee, Mr. Clayton Inman. Clayton. <laughs> well, you've met old Superman. I better tell you about Lois Lane over there, I guess. <laughs> Young man will sing some of the highest tenor you'll ever hear sung, and we're proud of him. He's got a lot of friends everywhere we go, and I know before we leave here today, he's going to have a lot more. He's from Elkin, North Carolina. His name is Philip Barker. Phil? <laughs> all right, my name's Ed Hill. I sing the baritone. That's all the singing Americans. Thank you. Thank you. We want to sing a song that uh, I think you'll all can relate to because most of us remember the story of Peter walking on the water. Well, at least we remember he starts to sink. That's what most of us remember. Here's a song that talks about that, but one thing I want to call your attention to. Peter May stepped out and started to sink when he looked down, but he was the only one in the boat that had enough faith to get out and try to walk. A lot of us Christians today are just like that. Listen to a song, it's called Walk on the Water. Peter was a good man, but a lot of people think that Peter wasn't living right, cause he began to sing. Though he's often criticized, brother, let's take note. Now Peter was the only one to take one step out of the boat. Now Peter's eyes were on Jesus, and 22 eyes were on him. They all knew Jesus could walk on water, but Peter was one of them. And others might have wanted to join him, till so Peter looked down at his feet. And when they saw him going down, they decided to go back to their sea. They could have walked on the water, but they chose to sit there, sit their nose. They never walked on the water, they kept on sitting in the boat. Listen now. Jesus wants us to step out of faith, not to listen to the bad things we've heard. There's nothing in the world we cannot do if we take it at his word.
like that, and I'm glad you did. We want to slow down right now. Most of us uh, are aware of what's happened in our country's lifetime, and well, this kind of talks about the MIAs and the POWs that uh, we, so, we uh, so many times forget. You know, not long ago, not too many years ago, I used to have a bracelet that had a name of a POW and an MIA on it. And uh, I was fortunate because the man that I had my name on my bracelet was able to come home. Some folks here today that have a bracelet with a name on it that hasn't come home to this point. We still hope. And you know, and, and when they brought us these words of this song, to make it a, a, a little bit so you can understand, they brought it in the course it says they can imagine this loved one catching a sparrow and with a, some way to, scry, uh, to write a note they write the note and wrap it around the sparrow's leg and with a strand of hair from their head tie the note to the sparrow release it with this note hoping that it'll get out to someone who loves them or someone to know that they're alright Dwayne's going to tell you that story I want you to listen as Dwayne tells you the story in this song sing it son there's a monument in Washington A cold black piece of stone It holds the nation's heart full of names Of those who didn't come home But on the stone there are some names Of those still alive today but Uncle Sam can't find them, so they're neatly filed away. Now they can't remember what it's like to feel a loved one touch their face. Must they hide our flag within themselves and cry in quiet disgrace? Don't you know you sent a boy To that God-forsaken land And left him to die alone A forgotten, unloved man A simple sparrow carried their plea Quietly across the sky Tied only by with a prayer they let him fly Carry the snow to our land Please don't make us stay Tell them that we're still alive Love him I But the message it fluttered to the ground its simple crudeness could not hold Yet it fluttered down into our hearts A brave story to be told A husband, son, and father Who are waiting there to die Their silent, unspoken screams Still carry across our sky
I wanted to sing a song they let me sing, and uh, I wish I had the time this afternoon to talk to you about it, because this song fits my life. And it might fit a lot of yours tonight, today. Here's a song that uh, talks about a lot of folks who maybe was like me. I was brought up in church all my life. All I ever wanted to do was to sing gospel music. And I thought I could find happiness that way. And you know, there's a lot of people searching for happiness a lot of ways. But I'm here to tell you this afternoon, there's only one way you can find true happiness. When you place your life in the Lord's hand, ask Him to come and live within your life. And I tell you, I sung gospel music for a long time. Wasn't a Christian. I didn't do it for what it could do for me or for you. I did it because I liked it. But I'm thankful that one day the Lord came into my life. He changed me and made a new creature, and gospel music means more to me today. But more than all of that, I want you to listen to a song that tells no matter what your desires, no matter what your problems, there's only one place for happiness, and that's in the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to a beautiful song. I built up a storehouse of my earthly rewards, full of riches and glory that belong to the Lord. As quick as I found them, seems they all fell apart. Then I realized my treasure, they were here in my heart. Put your dreams where your heart is, put your heart in Jesus' hand, lay your treasure. In Jesus' name, 
We will not be defeated, we will not be put to shame. Oh, we stand upon his promises, his word, it cannot fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall prevail. We're leaning on the rock, we're leaning on the rock, the rock of our salvation. We're leaning on the rock, we're leaning yeah. on the rock, forever it shall stand. Whatsoever we bind or loose on earth, the same shall be done in heaven. The gates of hell shall not prevail, we're leaning on the rock. Now God has not given me a spirit of fear. So I will not receive it, no matter what I hear. I'll stand upon His promises, my faith is on the rise. I'll keep the vision that He gave me right before my eyes. I'm leaning on the rock. We're leaning on the rock, the rock of my salvation. We're leaning on the rock. We're leaning on the rock, forever it shall stand. Whatsoever we find or loose on earth, the same shall be done in heaven. The gates of hell shall not. Oh, 
see. He's a God that's more than he does for thee. He's a God that's more than he does for That a Savior is returning, that he's coming back to take his pride away. In a moment, in a twinkling, every eye shall behold him, for his coming just might be this very day. The bridegroom coming, go ye out to meet him, make your preparation, go ye out to meet him. Oh, the bridegroom coming, go ye out to meet him. That will sound just any moment Calling us to that great wedding in the sky He will standing and he's ready For a signal from the master When he steps out over the cloud to take a ride song. There's a, a young man wrote a song that to us that fits every one of us here today that are Christians. And those of us that are here that are Christians can relate to this because he tells us in this song what the Bible tells us that if we'll ask the Lord to come to live within our lives ask for, for our forgiveness for our sins and ask him to come to live within us he'll change our lives. And the things that we have done in the past are cast into the sea of forgetfulness, never to be remembered again. I want you to listen because it talks about our past, but it says we've gone from our past and come into the presence of the Lord. Would you listen? There were things in my life I knew I'd always regret There were moments of my past 
I knew I'd never forget But when I knelt at an old-fashioned altar prayer The presence of the Lord met me there And I lost all my past and found the presence of the Lord forget just how I felt when Jesus lifted me the shackles fell from me praise God the chains were gone and I was true But I'm glad I made it that day That I traded my past for the presence that song. I like songs that speak about heaven. I love songs that talk about heaven. But folks, today, this song deals with the individual right now. And tonight, if you don't know him as your personal Savior, you can leave that past at an altar. You can leave it at an altar to be remembered no more. Whew. Amen. I'll never forget just how I felt when Jesus reached down and lifted me. When I knelt down at the altar, it seemed like the shackles fell from me. 
and all the chains were gone. Yeah. Come on now. And I was truly free. And it's a long way from my past to his presence. Yeah, But I'm glad I made it that day that I traded a past for the presence of the Lord. I lost my past when I found his presence. All the weights that burdened me down were lifted.
you this afternoon for the privilege we had of singing the gospel. We pray today that if there's one here that don't know you, they'll find you before it's everlasting too late. Thank you for the privilege of singing about you. Thank you for the privilege of telling others about you. And we hope that today that the folks here have been blessed. Be with all of us. Guide and protect us. All these things we ask in thy name and for his sake. Amen.